Welcome back, YouTubers. This is another episode of Diecast Outcast. It is episode 8. And if you watched my last video, you know that I got these three cars from a fella named Wade. He found two of these cars in the back of his 55 Chevy pickup when he pulled his gas tank out. And he also threw in his childhood car, which is this splitting image. I believe it is a 1969 version. It was originally a Spectre Flame dark green. But he went ahead and went over it with a, some kind of a red and that maybe it was mom's nail polish. Who knows? Let's get started. We're going to take a center punch and punch a hole in the middle of these mushroom posts. This will ensure that when we go to drill it, it will start straight. We're going to drill a pilot hole with a drill bit. It is a little tad smaller than a 256 size. Now we'll pop the head off that post with a 3 8 style drill bit. Popping the base off the body, we'll pull it apart. The interior will pop out and so will the glass. Uh, you can see that the original Spectra Flame Green. The interior is in good shape, but the glass has some cracks in it. We're going to keep the glass. We'll grab a small flathead screwdriver, push these tabs back, and the engine will fall right out. Off camera, I drilled the posts out with this small bit, and we're going to tap it with the 256. Now we can fit the base together with the screws and see if it fits as well as it should. Not much paint left on this car, but we're going to go ahead and strip what's uh, there. Usually I use my hottest ball stripper, but we're going to go with this clean strip, which is actually the same thing I just put in the jar. Please don't do what I do. Make sure you wear gloves when you use this stripper. I learned out the hard way. Here's what it looks like all stripped down. The body and base is in excellent shape. It should polish right up. We're going to throw those both in some lime away for about four minutes. Damn amps, get out of here! This is the lime away solution. I put it in a little Tupperware container. This stuff works surprisingly well. It turned out real good. All I did was polish it with a little brass brush. Now would be a good time to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you think. To put a little shine on these parts, I went with some 4 out steel wool. Polish the body and then the base.
there was an absolute horrible casting mark from the factory so I used a file filed it down smooth I went over and wet sanded the body after I filed it with some 800 grit sandpaper and then back over that with 2000 grit sandpaper to smooth the 800 grit sandpaper marks out and then I polished the body out with some mother's polish and a wool polishing ball that goes in a Dremel I had bought off of eBay Make sure you use some safety glasses when you do this because this will get right in your eyes. My plan is to use a Spectra Flame style paint. It is a Createx 2.0 green paint. And I didn't take everything out of it because I wanted it to look like it came from the factory that way. But also you could tell that it's played with just a tiny bit. The candy paint we're going to use is basically a tinted clear and you'll be able to see all the little imperfections. We got some new shoes to put on the base. These are reproduction redline wheels. I do not have the tool yet that people use to put these on but I'm definitely going to get it and use it in the future. Now it's time for paint. I had this cleaned up and degreased with acetone. I did something a little different than the norm. I went with some regular 2K urethane clear and some activator and I added in some candy paint uh, 2.0 water based with it and mixed it all together. I cannot believe it but it worked and it worked well. This is the first coat. It's just a really thin tack coat. And the second coat. I went with about four coats and then went over it with about five coats of the 2K clear by itself. I'm a sucker for clear so everything that you see me do will be over the top with shiny clear coat polish based with the reproduction redline wheels man these things look sweet I've been dreading this part it's fixing the glass it's got some nicks and scratches and chips but it also has some internal cracks that I'm not going to be able to take care of so I went over it with some 800 grit sandpaper and some 2000 grit sandpaper. I actually sanded the little ridges off the top of it and then polished it with some plastic polish but by the time I was done I really enjoyed how it turned out. Dipped it in some pledge floor care we had some nice breeze going through the house. The AC was on full blast Make sure to cover this with something so no debris gets on there. I searched and searched and searched the entire house for my Molotov pen and I do not have it. I guess I'll just have to buy another one. So I just did a little bit of touch up with this silver sharpie in some places where it was black and you, know, you really can't tell the difference. It looks good once it's all finished.
and we're going to go with a reminder of what it looked like when I first got this thing out of the box. And here it is with the new restoration. The green turned out a little bit lighter than what I wanted, but I'm not going to complain at all. I actually love this color. Actually better than the green that it came out with. Don't forget, coming up, we have a movie TV car challenge from Opa's Restoration. And I am doing the Stroker Ace, fastest chicken in the South Thunderbird. Be watching for more updates. This is going to be awesome. You can also catch me on Instagram and Snapchat, as well as YouTube. Subscribe, thumbs up, give us a like, give us a share. Hope you're ready for the next episode. Hey. Oh!